guys, it's Lynn here with a croaky voice. <laughs> oh, pardon me, I've got a terrible cold, so you'll have to excuse my voice in this video, guys. Anyway, this is my end of October cactus and succulent plant update. And we start off with my seedlings in the office. They're doing really well. I've got my little dragon fruit that I grew from seed. They are growing so fast, guys. Lots of tiny little spines on there, doing remarkable. And I've got my Venus fly traps that I grew from seed. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my voice is so bad, I know. Anyway, they're the Venus fly traps I grew from seed, and they're getting bigger by the day. They've got tiny little traps on them. They're doing so well. Fantastic. And then I've got my Ripsalis cactus here, lovely long trailing stems. I brought that in from the tree outside because the weather's going to be cooler now. And so am I breathing. I've got the uh, dragon fruit cactus here. This was gifted to me from a lovely lady named uh, Sharon. So thank you for that, Sharon. It's doing so well. Look at that now. It's she grew this herself from seed, so it's remarkable. But look at this, guys. You wait till you see this. Woohoo! <laughs> This is my Christmas cactus, or I should say, officially, a Thanksgiving cactus because of its leaves. And um, it's all in flower today. Look at that, guys. It's absolutely remarkable. Just look at the beautiful, beautiful flowers on it. It's so beautiful. And the reason why I say it's a Thanksgiving cactus, it's a Sclambergera truncata because it has the um, crab-like claw edging. If you haven't seen that video on how to ID your Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus, Links up, above to the, uh, links up above to that video. Sorry about that, guys. This had to have a big cough then. I have to get this video out because it's the end of October update, so really excuse my really croaky voice with this horrible cold. But anyway, what I was saying is, if you haven't seen the video on how to tell the difference between a Christmas and a Thanksgiving cactus, check out the links up above, and it will tell you how you can easily identify whether you have a Christmas cactus or a Thanksgiving cactus. Oh dear, I'm struggling with this cold, guys. <laughs> I very rarely get ill, but um, unfortunately it happens to happen. Now, these are my um, Nepenthes. The cuttings are doing really well. I have my beautiful Pinguicula Latina. She's in beautiful little bloom as well. My other Thanksgiving cacti. And this one has a beautiful golden bloom. And I'm pleased to say that it's, it's golden this year. It was pink last year after originally being golden. But watch out for a future video I've done on that. So um, explain more in the video. And my other Christmas cactus cutting is all doing really well. These are the original Christmas cacti here with the um, scalloped edges. And um, you've got to wait till you see this, guys. Look at this. This is my Nepenthes Miranda, my new plant. Watch out for a future video on me purchasing this, guys. You'll laugh your head off. But anyway, in brief, um, I haven't had a chance to edit the video yet. So, um, But this is my new Nepenthes Miranda. Just look at the size of these beautiful pictures. They're remarkable. So stay tuned to a video when I'm buying this in the next few days, guys. And I'm going to take you into the conservatory. Now, this is the conservatory. And I'll just show you what we've got here. I've got the uh, selection of some of my aloes on here. And gas, my new gasteria put away. It's been doing really well. And I did a video on this amazing Hoya Linearis the last week. Just look at them blooms. It's still blooming lovely, guys. Absolutely beautiful. If you haven't seen that, check out the video. I'll put links up above to that video of this beautiful Hoya in flower. Now I've got some of my carnivorous plants here. They're still doing really well. Considering it's getting late in the season, I'm going to be um, giving them a cold overwintering uh, period this year. And my lovely big aenia there, still doing uh, thriving there at the back. Selection of my ripsalis, my lovely big aloe. And look at this, guys. My aloe has never ever pupped at the base for me. As you can see, it's a long straggly base, never formed pups. But it's actually got a pup forming from the top of it. That's actually a pup. Can you believe it growing from the top? So excited. <coughs> oh, excuse me guys, I really do sound so croaky, but. And I've got my, um, my lovely big crassula, my jade plant here. Now my lovely new plants that I got from the cactus meeting the other, the other week. I still haven't got round to repotting them, the reason being they haven't been too well and I haven't got round to repotting but stay tuned for a future video on that when I'm repotting them guys. And my dragon fruit here is doing well and the plants I got from Urban Plant Life the other week, a couple of weeks ago, they're my euphorbias, they're settling in so well, let's look at this guys, like a big candelabra, doesn't it look amazing? And the other one as well at the back, 
And um, my other big, um, <coughs> show these big pylos are serious. <laughs> at the back there my little Christmas cactus through the window and I'll show you my seedlings they are thriving guys I've got my Pinoceros Craigii cactus seedlings at the back they're growing like anything a selection of my other seedlings gosh I tell you what I sound like a Dalek with you guys obviously in the invasion of the Daleks but I sound just like that <laughs> oh dear anyway um my little San Pedro seedlings, and I've got my Opuntia humifusa. They're growing so well. Just look at them, guys, little spines on them. My monkey puzzles, they're just thriving. And I've got my, um, my stand with a selection of different succulents on there. They're all growing well. <coughs> a few cacti and different succulents there. And these are my little navel warts. They're starting to come back into growth. They have a after they're flowering in the summer, they go back to the rootstock and then they starting to regrow again. And I've got my golden rat's tails and it's forming a flower this time of year. Can you believe it? It's nearly November and it's still re-blooming. You can see that just trying to reach them really short, guys. Look the little bud up there, so it's really excited. I've got a few um, cuttings up there all rooted. Oh God, it's horrible breathing this cold. <laughs> the good thing is you can't get it through the internet, guys, so don't worry. <laughs> and I've got a selection of a uh, few little plants there again. Uh, my big, tall, trichocereus type of cacti and my big Apuntia brasiliensis. Look at that, it's, it's nearly eight foot. In fact, I think it is eight foot high. Isn't that mad? Oh, <clears throat> look at the height of that, guys. <laughs> and my lovely um, Cleister cactus. Here, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I close the cactus drowsy eye. I get some jokes about this because uh, the way it looks. <laughs> and I'll take you up to the table on here. All of my succulents and my table all thriving too, doing really well. And um, I'll just give you a bit of a quick scan. A more sort of <clears throat> selection on there. And um, look at this, this is my euphorbia, so yeah, my euphorbia, and it's got a little tiny flower on it, isn't that cute guys? I'm not actually sure what type of euphorbia this is, I think it's a euphorbia amac, or it's a euphorbia ingens, I'm not 100% sure, but um, it's the first time it's ever flowered for me, and it's just one, and it's tiny and green, but it's still cute. And there's a flower bud also on my Trichoceros grandiflorus. Can you believe like it's nearly November and I'm still getting cacti coming up in bud? The weather has been incredibly mild, guys. So uh, I think the plants are getting a bit confused. My other Euphorbia Sudanica here. She's a beauty with her leaves. My Echeveria Metallica. That's uh, moved to me from the office. She's thriving there and I have to keep a rock. The spotty rock I found on the beach to stop it toppling over. <laughs> My sedums there, all flourishing. And um, a selection of different plants. This is my Euphorbia platy, platy card, that's weird and wacky. Small echeverias. <clears throat> I have my Euphorbia obesas in flower as well. Still, that's beautiful little flowers on there. And my Echeveria frilly, I call it. <laughs> It's got lovely frilly edges. That's been in flower for absolutely weeks. They will do well. And then I've got my um, Nepenthes alata. This beauty here I have had for over 20 years and it is still producing lots of pictures really, really well. Look at that. That's the conservatory. All doing well, as you can see. And uh, oh, yeah, mustn't forget. I've got my other rat's tail cactus, my Cleister cactus, yeah, my Cleister cactus. Um, this one is the Collodimonis, and it has the whiter coloured spines, and that's also coming into bud as well, so happy days. And my um, <coughs> string of pearls, as you can see. <coughs> oh dear, guys. I do sound like a croaky old woman, don't I? My poor cactus is not doing too well. It seems to have a virus or something. It's got those little sort of um, brown spots. I've tried taking some cuttings and they haven't really been taken so I've had this plant for over 20 years as well and it's a shame it's not doing too well but we'll see what happens and um, I really hopefully it uh, will recover and the view of my Hawarthias and Gasterias under there and aloes and I'm going to take you up to the um, 
into the, uh, <laughs> sorry, my voice is so bad, <laughs> into the living room. Now we're in the living room, guys, and we start off in my gorgeous, I love this plant, <laughs> this is my um, mother of thousands, or I should say mother of billions, because she soon turns into billions. This plant now is thriving, and look at the height of it, it's getting bigger and bigger by the day, it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, obviously she's getting very, very sort of top heavy, so I'm going to actually uh, probably get a bamboo stick and tie her up so she doesn't topple over. And uh, just a little bit on the winter still here, selection of uh, cacti and succulents, some Hawthias, Adramistrus, and um, Casteria at the top there. And then I've got my Ripsalis, a selection of these here. They're doing really well. I've got my Ripsalis pendiflor, which is this one. This one is coming into little bud as well. It has tiny little flowers on it. And I'm not going to get into try and get the macro on it because I'll make a separate video on that when it's fully flowering. But it's a beautiful plant. And, uh, they're thriving. I'll take you and show you my, um, my other epiphyllums. Now we've got my big, big epiphyllum, Acamanii. And this was the poor cactus that um, came down with a load of mealybugs. But it's made a complete recovery and there's not a mealybug to be seen, guys. I'm really happy about that. And um, she's doing really well. I bought her in from outside because she was getting a little bit... Uh, nice getting a bit cooler now. So I've got lots of cacti circles in the greenhouse, which I'm going to show you next. Some other epiphyllums are doing well there. They're sort of thriving too, which I'm happy about. I'll just uh, take you a little bit to show you here. Then my zigzag cactus too. And that's the epiphyllums. And I'll take you into the greenhouse. Now this is a greenhouse and I'm really glad because the weather has been very mild still here in Ireland considering it's the end of October and I've been able to keep them out still which is brilliant but as soon as the weather starts to change I'm sure in the next week or two I'll be bringing all of these. I'll just show you how many there is in here all back into the house. As you can see the house is already full so I'm going to be putting a lot of these in, in between the conservatory and the spare rooms. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, guys, it's so wonderful. I've got such a wonderful, supportive boyfriend like Sean. My partner's fantastic. He really doesn't mind my passion for these plants, but if there's anybody else, it would drive them mad having all these in the house. <laughs> but, you know, I am just mad about these crazy plants. And uh, i just show you a quick scan round. There's uh, nothing really much coming into flower. Obviously, everything's sort of... Time back now for the uh, the winter rest, but they're still you know they're thriving, they're healthy and everything. So I just scan you around this one. I couldn't fit on the table. <laughs> and uh, my Trichocereus, now my Patricereus pringlii. This one here, I'm not joking. It must, this is still really actively growing. It grows another fort every time I come in this greenhouse. Seriously, it's huge. My um, other big Echinopsis, big plant down there. Your selection of other ones. Give a bit of a scan on the back wall there. My lovely uh, Crusula. Oh, here, my Medusa plant actually. I've got my Medusa plant. She's coming into bud again, which is wonderful to see. So, watch out for a future video there. It's amazing to still have buds at this time of year. You expect it with the Christmas cacti and that, and the Thanksgiving, but to have the cacti, I think the weather has been so mild that it's uh, a lot of the plants are still not having a proper dormancy as such yet. See down here selection of lots of different ones as well. And under the bud, I mean that's one of my um, <coughs> Astrophytum nudums and that's coming to bud again as well. Bud and it's nearly November, it's just mad. Cuttings down there and this one, the Crusula, just coming into, into bud. But that's normal for Crusulas, a lot of the South African type of succulents, normal for them to come into bud this time of year. And um, show you the top. Look at that, seed pods as well. It's so exciting to see lots of seed pods on my mummy Laria cactus. Let's give me a bit of a quick scan. But everything's really doing well. I've got my aloes underneath. They sort of come with a bit of a growth at this time of year. You can see they're sort of all fattening up and greening up as well. All there. <coughs> now my... Um, Unfortunately, I had a problem with my um, bundle flowers. They were attacked by um, some what you call sting bugs, which is a real shame. But the good news is they are recovering. There's lots of new growth. And that one's sort of coming back into growth again. So 
Hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll make a recovery. They seem to be on the mend, which is good news. More seed pods there on my mammal Mammillaria and Pico cactus. And um, that's it. <laughs> so that's my update, my end of October cactus and succulent plant update. And I'm really sorry, guys, my awful croaky voice. I guarantee the next video I won't be so croaky, but um, normally I'd put off making it, trying to speak like this. <laughs> But because it's my end of October, I thought I can't put it off. It has to be done the end of October. So sorry, guys. I hope you could make out what I was saying. And watch out for a future video when I bring all of these plants back into the house again. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and hopefully not, not a cold. I won't send you a cold. But loads of love and happiness. And until the next video, guys, bye.